today's morning. So it is Wednesday morning um, in quarantine. I'm gonna pop my earrings in. I'm about to go make some coffee and I thought we could just kind of sit out here and get ready. And uh, yeah, Manny's still asleep so I'm trying not to talk super loud. But I just thought we could kind of get some makeup on and get ready in quarantine and kind of talk about some things while we're at it. So first, let's get some coffee. so we can get started with our morning routine so uh, we are still um, working from home we will be working from home we found out the other day for the remainder of May um, so if you don't know I am a my husband and I both are worship and tech pastors and we're also um, temporarily the student pastors at our church so um we that's what we do you know full time we moved to texas um for this position so anyway we usually go into the office throughout the week and we haven't been throughout the quarantine we've been working from home and so i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how i've been feeling about working from home um, i'm gonna do kind of an extensive morning routine because i can i have time for it i got up early <laughs> for this video so that I could do whatever I wanted to do with it. So it's like a bird fighting out there. But anyway, so I'm not gonna like scream like I generally do. I'm usually kind of a loud person, but I'm really trying to not be super loud because it is early. And uh, you know, I don't want Manny to wake up, although he probably already is. Um, he'll be real sweet about it, but I don't want to be rude, so. Anyway, I'm gonna pop these on. I cut, I ripped this in half so they're gonna look like oddly shaped, but I love these. So you can tell they're, <clears throat> this is actually all one. It went like up onto the forehead, but I just ripped it in half. Okay, so I, have been loving like absolutely loving working from home it is just I love it I enjoy it don't get me wrong like I'm so thankful like for our office and all that kind of stuff but I know there's certain people who like they can't work from home they do not want to that is not for them you know that kind of thing I am not one of those people it's been really nice and such a blessing to be able to do this during this time I think you have to look at the positive things and that that has been a total positive for Manny and I. We're homebodies anyway, but really I feel like we felt just so much more motivated at home. I don't know why that is. I know a lot of people struggle with motivation at home. We have really just been like motivated and ready to go and like just, I don't know, like just working a lot and we've had a lot more to do during this quarantine too because everything has been like digital you know everything's online so that falls under our you know job so we've been extremely extremely busy I mean, we were online before but of course you know everything is online now the whole services like nothing's not online so um you know it's just it does require a little more work we pre-record our services and do different things but anyway I've been loving um, working from home. <laughs> okay, so these are, by the way, the gold diamond um, collagen iPads. That's what they look like, they're from Amazon. So I think I might change my robe because I'm like getting warm out here. <laughs> I got the light on, that might be why. The robe I just had on is my favorite 
and Manny got it for me for my birthday like years ago. It is the most comfortable robe. I'm obsessed with it. But um, this one's just kind of like cooler and I just, I pretty much have to have a robe on in the mornings. I just love wearing robes. Um, the other one definitely keeps you warm. It is so comfortable. I have slept in that robe before. Like, I just like to be comfy like that. It's so nice. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye cream on probably going to be a longer video because I really just wanted to come sit out here and just kind of talk and um, everything so I am using I love this eye cream it is the maybe considered a serum yeah it's a serum it's the caffeine from the in key list it's what it looks like and it's so good I love it my eyes generally don't get puffy um, in the mornings. I don't have dark circles. My eyes don't really get puffy, but I love the way this makes them feel. I, I love to use eye cream anyway. I think it's good to use an eye cream, um, eye serum <laughs> in this case, but it just makes them feel so moisturized and hydrated, and I love that feeling, so I love eye products like that. Okay, I brought my airbrush machine out here, and that's what I'm going to use for foundation, so let me plug it in. So you guys will have to let me know how you've been feeling throughout quarantine. And uh, if you get to work from home, I know a lot of people um, are not able to work at all. And you know, that's just really difficult. And then I know a lot of people can't, you know, are working but can't work from home. Um, so, you know, I know how blessed I am to be in the position that I'm in and definitely don't take that lightly at all. Um, just really thankful for that. This machine's right next to the camera, so you probably hear it a lot. You know what, actually, before I do that, I am going to put some of this on just to hydrate my skin a little bit. It is a hyaluronic acid from the NK list as well, same brand. And I like to use this because it dries down real quick. I did just wash my hands, so we're good. To wipe it off my lips too but i am going to go in with this contour and i'm actually just going to use a darker airbrush foundation and contour with that this is my favorite way to contour um i love this airbrush machine because it can actually be so precise and you would think it would just like spray everywhere but it can actually be really precise like i'm about to show you it gives you a perfect contour. I am just going to kind of like chit chat a little bit. Um, I have you sitting on this little thing that I think I'm going to make my vanity. I always tell you guys <clears throat> that I don't have a morning voice right now, so that I don't have a vanity. I just kind of like set up wherever I can. Usually I stand in my bathroom or bring a chair in there and get ready. And I really have been wanting like my own space to get ready again. Um, and our house is like not, you know, um, that spacious. So, <clears throat> So there's not really a ton of places to set up like that, but I realized I have this little thing and I might show you before we end like what you're sitting on, but it's like this little thing we got from Dirt Cheap. I actually have it sitting upside down right now, but um, I thought that I could like make like a light up mirror kind of situ situation. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube making those and kind of sit it on this. Um, this wooden thing that you're on and I could make my own little vanity so I don't know I thought that could be good so anyway I love even during this quarantine situation to get up in the morning get ready for the day 
and you know get dressed i always get dressed i've been wearing makeup pretty much every day i didn't yesterday most days though i've been wearing um makeup because not that you have to wear makeup like i'm not saying you have to get up and put makeup on like for myself i love to get up in the morning and put my makeup on it makes me feel like me and it makes me feel good and that's just the way that i am i know a lot of people like don't want to put makeup on in the morning like are enjoying a break from it or whatever but i never you know i always wore makeup for me anyway so being home doesn't change that um i still put it on i think getting up and getting ready and feeling like you're putting yourself together in the morning even if it's just a mascara and you know um like that's it i just feel like doing something for yourself like if you just moisturize put your eye cream on some mascara or something it's gonna make you feel better than if you did nothing so I really, I was homeschooled growing up. I was always homeschooled and that's like, you know, obviously you're home all the time. So I think I was just kind of like created for this. I'm like used to it, but I also need to order some contacts. So I've been rocking the glasses 24 seven. I always wear glasses, but um, usually only on certain days and at nighttime. I wear them every night, but, but yeah, being home all the time really like truly does not bother me. Um, so we live in Texas and Texas is uh, lifting some restrictions, but still not enough to really have church services. Um, it's, you know, certain ages are allowed to go and um, some ages are not allowed to go. And so it would just be really, really, really hard to enforce all the social distancing and all that kind of stuff. So we're not starting our church services yet, um, which I fully support that. It would be just really difficult with the restrictions that are still in place here. I think people kind of thought Texas was just like fully opening the gates and that's not exactly what happened. Um, but anyways, so we, the gym is gonna be opening back up, I think Monday. And I am so proud because I actually um, kept working out at home throughout quarantine. Of course I wasn't perfect. You know, there was only a few days I think that I didn't work out that I had planned to. I mean, I, I've always taken Sundays fully off even when we were going to the gym, so I still did that. But, um, you know, still continued working out. We have been going on walks when it's nice enough. It's um, gonna be a rainy week this week, which is pretty common, but um, we had some really beautiful weather for a little while. So we were going on walks and doing all of that and just trying to, for me, I really wanted to try to stay in shape the best I could because when the gym opened back up I didn't want to be just like in square one because I had gotten so much better and so much more in shape so I did not want to go back to square one and start over so I need to do my nails too I've had these nail stickers on the uh, dashing diva or something like that and they're really good they lasted a long time I just need to change them out because it's been a while the sparkly one still looks really good though. But yeah, some days I do like full face. A lot of days I do full face. Um, for me, like I would spend like all my time on my makeup, which is what I'm gonna do today, and then like pull my hair back or something. <laughs> That's like a typical thing for me because if my full face is done, I just feel so much more put together. And, um, but like I said, even just getting up and like doing a skincare routine and not just laying around greasy all day, it makes me feel better. I just have to do something. Um, I'm just setting that. I'm gonna have to go grab another battery. Now I'm rocking with more than one camera battery, so it's so much easier. Okay, Manny is awake in there. I think I woke him up, but anyway, so um, I don't remember what I was saying. I was talking about the gym. I, you know, had gotten in pretty good shape going to the gym all the time, and I don't didn't want to lose all that. So, and honestly, I think I've developed like better habits and not worse during quarantine. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've been able to keep up with the house better. Obviously, being in it more, um, been able to keep up with it better. And obviously, being in it, you want it to be clean. 
the wrong things you want it to be clean and you know have like a nice space to work in and so I just feel like I've prioritized that more I've always liked to keep a clean house it's just important to me but I think I've prioritized it more throughout quarantine and again we're not working less we're actually working more but we're working you know here so there's just more obviously more time I'm using this Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette it smells like straight up chocolate and it smells so good so this is probably just going to be like a quick like nothing crazy but just something to like make you feel kind of more put together this is the shade almond truffle and it's just like a really pretty shade that you can just easily pop in your crease some days you know I, I do really like simple like this I mean I might wake up and just do a yellow eye look I mean I do literally whatever I'm feeling that day so I love makeup I think it's like a, a form of art and um, it's a fun way to express yourself like just coming out here and filming this video I seriously feel better than I did before like I'm more awake I'm just excited and like you know I don't know it just energizes me to get ready like this I don't always like just hop up and get ready first thing because sometimes I'll work out in the mornings when we're going to the gym I always work out in the mornings but lately I've kind of been working out um just whenever I can sometimes I work out in the middle of the day um but I you know if I, if I get ready first thing in the morning like today I'll just like take my makeup off later and do my workout my eyes don't get puffy in the morning and this morning they're really not but my lips get swollen they're not swollen today but they do like my lips swell up almost like people have their eyes get puffy and swell up my lips do that quite a bit like pretty often so I don't know if that happens to any of you I've looked it up and it is a normal thing but I told my mom about it and she was like that's weird I've been loving to put this just regular eyeliner on and then wing it out like basically smudge it to wing it out I love doing this you see that it's just like it's just really fun yeah, the gym is opening back. I'm really excited to go back because obviously there are a lot of things that I can't do at home. I've tried to like maintain to the best of my ability. Like I truly never thought I would be this excited because the gym is opening up. I know every personality is so different during quarantine though. My sister, Dina, she is like very, like thrives on, she's very extroverted. So I am introverted. Like I'm, you know, don't like need a ton of you know social interaction honestly like don't get me wrong i have like a lot of amazing people in my life love being around them all that kind of stuff um like my husband obviously like my mom you know people like that like i obviously love being around but um you know dina like everybody she needs a lot of social interaction a lot more than that and so she's been struggling with um not being around people and I, I see that personality like in her and so I get that a lot of people just don't feel like themselves just you know all this kind of stuff when they're in quarantine um, and I know a lot of people you know are going through worse things than that but I'm just talking strictly like whether you like staying home or not um everybody kind of deals with it differently I have been thriving it's just my personality like I said, I was um, homeschooled my whole life. And so as a homeschooler, like you get used to being at home, obviously, because that's where you spend the vast majority of your time. Of course, we went places. I mean, we weren't in quarantine like a lot of people think homeschoolers are. <laughs> um, but, you know, we were obviously home more than the average kid because, you know, we did our school work from home. So. Alright, so I very quickly filled in my brows with this Rimmel Brow Shake. And I've been loving the look of, um, I'm not like generally like a natural person, you know what I mean? Like I, not that I don't like that, I do. It's just like, like I was always more like super glam, like almost drawn on brows. I know a lot of people don't like that, but that's 
than I always liked, but I have been really just in a mood for like the really natural looking brows just because I think it looks really cool. Um, kind of like the Glossier brows, which brings me to the Glossier boy brow, which I recently got. I love it. Um, my first time trying it. I have a video trying my Glossier products, but kind of like just brushing up the brow hairs. If you can see that, it's kind of brushing them, kind of like a really messy brow, which is what I tried to avoid before, but I know this is like a super popular thing now, and I honestly love the way that it looks, and I know for most people this is not um, even really natural, but I do have um, decently full brows. They used to be way fuller. I kind of, uh, you know, over plucked because yeah, that's what you did, you know, when I was younger and I just kind of fell into that even though I didn't want to <laughs> I just kind of did it um, And friends would pluck my brows out and everything because I was always kind of told they needed to be plucked out because they were You know thicker, but I love them now and have been growing them in for years I don't pluck them at all anymore. Like literally you can even tell that they don't get plucked a single bit. I mean, occasionally if one grows like down in here, I'll pluck it because I get them growing low sometimes. But if not, they're not perfectly groomed up. I like them that way. It's what I prefer. So that's what I've learned through the years. You have to do what you like to do. I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm gonna use Glossier mascara and I'm probably gonna pop some lashes on too. One thing I am really excited for is to be able to kind of like plan when we're gonna travel again. Um, I travel out of the country for the first time. My husband is from England, and so we went to England. It's my first time going there um, in the fall. And so, you know, of course, we want to go like every couple of years now because he hadn't been back in like eight years or something. It had been a while. I think about eight years, seven or eight years. And so um, we really want to like figure out when we're going to be going back again and stuff. I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint and Beam. Um, but yeah, we just really want to kind of plan that. I, um, I'm just really excited to travel. Um, I can't wait to plan our next trip. Went to England and Paris. England and Paris. I mean, London and Paris. <laughs> England and France is what it would be. But um, we went to London and Paris while we were there. And I have vlogs of that, like literally vlogged. I literally think I vlogged every day while we were there. We were there for a couple weeks. So there's some really fun vlogs. Even just like going to Dallas. We only live a couple hours from Dallas. And we went to Dallas shortly before this too, actually Valentine's Day weekend. But just little things like that. I do look forward to getting back into that. Thankfully, the things that we do for work um, can be done from home do a lot of like social media things all of, like the online things like that um and so it can be done from home and the scheduling and planning and everything just really blessed that we can actually like effectively do our job here and we're like you know staying busy we're definitely not bored um by any means one thing that i have like been seriously loving i know i said i've been loving to go on walks that's like the one way we've been really getting out and doing something is going for a walk i've been cooking more which again i just think i've been like almost developing better habits like cooking is just something that i've honestly always struggled with i've never like loved it so i have to basically make myself cook Manny and I both cook, um, but I've been really trying to cook more um, and really have found a few things throughout this that are just like simple and really good and uh, like I made this, these tacos one night of quarantine that were just like really good and they were like a couple of ingredients so that's the kind of thing that I look for when I'm when I'm doing um, any type of cooking. I want it to be simple. I want it to be good. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So 
This highlighter smells amazing too. These are like the best smelling products I'm using today, but um, the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. These smell like coconut, it's like vacation. Speaking of going on a trip, these literally smell like you're going to the beach, so. I just put this lip liner on though and didn't put any like gloss or anything. A lot of the time I'll put a gloss over this or like a lipstick, but this is the lippy pencil is actually what it's called from ColourPop, and it's in the shade bff it just looks really nice too i think almost like glossier kind of vibes um but really inexpensive i think it's six dollars and it is my favorite lip liner that i've ever used it is amazing um, i also love the nyx lip liners now what i will do a lot of the time when i do my hair um I and mean, i always do my hair but as far as like with heat or whatever i will do my hair usually a few days a week or i mean i don't wash it i wash it one time a week so once i style it it can stay styled for a few days um but i am gonna wash it tonight it's getting way longer so it just gets more difficult the longer that it gets but what i am gonna do is just this really simple low bun that i think looks like really pulled together i like it to be like kind of sleek my hair has stayed actually like really nice and it is literally all thanks to that purple shampoo that i use from bold unique that's from amazon that stuff is incredible like for platinum bleached hair it's amazing obviously my roots are longer than what i want them to be i do intentionally actually put roots so um they're really not even that bad since they were intentionally put it kind of blends them a little bit more and that's one thing i like about that so um i like the way that they look so now i'm gonna go get dressed and i'll be back okay so i've picked out my outfit i'll show you guys real quick it's from amazon fully from amazon so Got it for Christmas. So it's just this little set that I got for Christmas. I don't remember what this material is called, but I really like it. And it's just a matching set. There's two pieces, pants and bottoms. And then the quarantine shoes, which <laughs> these are slippers from Walmart. They are amazing. They're so comfortable. I love these. This is my little setup here. I have my ring light there. But yeah, this was super fun. So now I'm gonna go, it is um, still not even nine o'clock. It's 8.52 right now. And I filmed for a while and like got things set up and did the whole thing. So um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining today and I really had a lot of fun. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Remember your incredible Jesus loves you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.